like to welcome you to another edition of Rick Davis's Talking Gold. We're going to talk a little bit about silver, gold, diamonds, and coins. Hopefully you'll enjoy it and pick up a few facts along the way that will be helpful in your buying, selling, or trading of any kind of gold items. Why does Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds serve so many customers each and every day? It's because they know that Rick treats them the best and pays them the most. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds is the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds is waiting on their customers. Over a hundred each day. Don't sell for less than you deserve. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, paying you more all day, every day. What do you want me to bring you for Christmas this year? I would like a scooter that shoots sparks, and I would like a DS, and a football, a basketball, a baseball, some diamond earrings, Xbox 360, a laptop, a go-kart, a ring and a necklace, a motorcycle, golf clubs, a cappuccino machine. Even Santa needs a little help during the Christmas season. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, buying gold all day, every day. I'm Rick Davis, and for 36 years, you've bought and sold gold and diamonds with me. Now, finally, a name you can trust in the automotive industry. I will buy, sell, or trade with you, and still remain your friend in the automotive industry. Thank you, and God bless. Stop in and see why Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds was selected as the best jeweler in the Chattanooga area by an independent national selection committee. We'd like to remind you to stop by the store at 5301 Brainerd Road. Come in and chat with us. We're always there to answer your questions. And remember, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. Congratulations, how long? 13 years now. While you're Chattanooga, I got, then I got we're going to play. I got my mom down here, though, in May. So. $360 is what you got. That's good. Is this the one you said you'd like to sell? Yes, sir. That ain't going to be so good. What'd you pay for this? Do you remember? I think around 800 Years ago. Markup on diamonds are so strong yeah. that this is probably not going to be something you want to sell right now. I tell everybody, you know, let your conscience be your guide. Hadn't gone up much, but there's, this is materials. Mm -hmm. Materials times 600% markup, which is national average mm -hmm. for stores. Six times materials gives you retail. So 7.99 to 8.79, 9.99, anywhere along in there is retail on it. If you want to hold it, I understand. So you'll give me. That's all you're going to wind up with out of it, $145. Yeah. You're right. Now, what you do with that is you take that 145 now that you know that's what it's worth, mm -hmm. and you tell somebody you got a $900 ring, you'll take 450 or $500. Mm -hmm. Anything over this is graving sure, you, yeah. that helps you, that's plain profit. And if they, you know, I'll sell it to you $500. 
And they say, well, you know, gee, I'd love to have this beautiful, great Christmas gift, but I've only got four. Mm -hmm. Jerk their arm off. <laughs> you, know? you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. And you do your gold. This is just your running around money. That's your yeah. scrap stuff. 300. I'm running out of 20s. Thanks, sir. Ma'am, thank you very much. Welcome to Chattanooga and have some happy holidays, okay? Bye-bye. Thank Thanks for coming. Yes, How'd sir. you hear about us? You're all over town. I am. <laughs> thank you very much. You're welcome very much. Sign out with Norma. Bye-bye. Right here. Right here, babe. She's saying you get around. I get around, round, 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 round. I better not sing. That probably wouldn't be one of my strong points. The Pitcher Man. What is that, uh, uh, Ben Hampton? Yeah. A high splendor. Unless you just want to give it away. Uh, 50 bucks. It's probably worth $100. There ain't nowhere to go with them. Ben Hamptons don't sell no more. And basically what I'm buying is a pretty frame and mat job. I'd take the, I'd take the, the Ben Hampton out of it and I'd put something else in it that was more update. You know, but that's, that's no real money. If you... That gives you something to shop and see if you can get a price better than that. And if you can, go for it. So what you give me for it? 50 bucks. I'll take it. Will you? Yeah. Okay. Just set it right back there in the, or just lean it up against that counter right there. It'd be fine. And that's, understand that's not trying to hurt you. Oh, yeah. It's just I have nowhere to go with them. Yeah. I mean, there's, you know, the only reason I'll buy it is somebody may come in and I'll say, oh, if they like it, give me $60, give me $70, you know, whatever works. Okay. I sign out with normal where I just tell her a Ben Hampton print. Thank you. And you would have thought that would have made his artwork go up in price, and it did for a short time, and then his daughter flooded the market. Hi, how are you? Everything lovely with you today? Yeah. Except having to sell a ring. Yeah. This will be okay. This is not going to be okay. That's sterling. That's three dollars. Okay. Takes a whole shoebox load of sterling to make any money. Oh yeah. And you probably paid pretty high for these, didn't you? Uh, not too bad. Two or three hundred dollars. It was close to four hundred. Four. Well, they're 10 carat, they're little bitty chips. Even that center stone is four little diamonds, not one big diamond. You got $80 there. And six eighths is 48, so 600% markup. Take $80 times six. Six eighths is four hundred and eighty dollars. That's what they'd be tagged at in a jewelry store. Okay. Four eighty. Okay. If you want to market them to a friend, put them on eBay or Craigslist and ask two forty. That's half of retail. Somebody says, "Well, I'll give you two hundred for them." Jerk their arm off. Take their money. Okay. You know, eighty. There's seventy nine eighty. That's the metal in. All I'm gonna get is about probably $90 out of them. I'm making $10 off of it. But understand, anytime you want to, if you have no luck, you can walk in here and get $80 to $90 for those anytime. Okay. Just as, I mean, that's what they're worth. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Fine. Good. Where are you from? East Ridge. Oh, hometown boy. Yes, sir. I live over the East Ridge Tunnel. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I've been up there about 16 years. Clean out the jewelry box today, you say? No, the wife did yesterday. This is a honey do list. <laughs> I get those every day. <laughs> Never in it. You're right. I bought that just because it's cute. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's silver, but I bought it as silver. I couldn't tell you what. Uh, just an Apple and Apple computers. I know a guy that's an Apple freak. He might give it, what, give it to his wife. He might wear it himself. I had a cute little girl in here the other day, about 25 years old, and she teaches the fifth grade. 
And I mean little, she wasn't much bigger than a fifth grader, but just a doll. And I said, I bet you have all kinds of trouble with the kids bringing apples to you. And she said, she looked around and she said, I get eight and 10 a day. <laughs> and I said, well, it must be nine. <laughs> Your fellow East East Ridgian, <laughs> what was it? East Florida is a Floridian, Canada is a Canadian. An East Ridge person would be an East Ridgian. Or a person from East Ridge. <laughs> See, you take all the fun out of it. An East Ridgian. I believe that I couldn't spell it, but I believe that would be proper English. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Come Have back. A Have a good holiday season. Come back and see us. Okay. And bring your wife with the apple. Okay, you got me in a bad position. Where are you from? Uh, Jasper. Jasper. Frida Payne, Peanut Payne, you know any of them? Payne girls over there. Captain Jean Luc Picard. Is that Spock or is that? Uh, is that right? I don't even remember that. I must be old. I can't remember anything except the USS Enterprise with Spock and Dr. Kirk. Bubba, how are you? Good to see you. You come to work? Oh, look at those shoes. We're going to take a little break, but at the same time, we'd like to invite you to stop by our store at 5301 Brainerd Road. Come in, get to know us a little bit, chit chat, ask a few questions. We're your friend in the jewelry business. During the holiday season, even Santa sometimes needs a little help. Ho, 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 Rick Davis, gold and diamond, buying gold all day, every day. Why does Rick Davis Golden Diamond serve so many customers each and every day? It's because they know that Rick treats them the best and pays them the most. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds is the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Golden Diamonds is waiting on their customers, over a hundred each day. Don't sell for less than you deserve. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, paying you more, all day, every day. in and see why Rick Davis Golden Diamonds was selected as the best jeweler in the Chattanooga area by an independent national selection committee.
This is a segment that was pre-recorded from our show on Night Talk. We have inserts and people call in and ask questions, and we try to answer them on the spot. So if you'll view the show tonight, it'll answer some of your questions. If not, feel free to check us out at 5301 Brainerd Road. We're Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, and we're your friend in the jewelry business for over 35 years. Thank you, and God bless. It just takes a daily routine and to, and to learn that, don't it? <clears throat> it just it seems like it, well, it took me a lifetime. You know, maybe I'm a little dumber than the most people, but it's just. Uh, so it's, uh, what are these? <clears throat> just, just different mountings to show you different cuts and some of the different stuff that we can do. Uh, and you cus you can customize. Yeah, we can jewelry. make a, We can make this and turn it into a necklace. We can cut the shank off of it and make it into a pendant where you can wear it around your neck. Right. Uh, we can take it and make it into a bracelet. Or make a pen. Make a pen. You can do anything with them you want to. This is one of the interesting pieces I was telling you during the break. Do a close-up of that. That's, that's this is neat. the, I guess what we call kind of the rap star jewelry from comes most of the time out of Atlanta. <clears throat> this piece here was made on a CAD machine. And a CAD machine is nothing more, look at some of the detail on it, as I'll turn it very slow. But a CAD machine is nothing more than a computer that can take a picture of anything you want to put in it and carve the mold in order to make this piece. Well, you look at this and you see the big bell where the chain hangs through it. Uh -huh. You see the cross and all the details all the princess cut diamonds that's filling up the cross. But this to be made, if you had to set and hand carve this would take 80 hours. If you was a true artist and could sit down and carve this all out in wax before you cast it. This, the technology <coughs> today, a CAD machine, you put the picture of the cross into a CAD machine and, and it's fed into a computer. You take a large block of wax and you put it on there and the computer with lasers and, and knives and blades and everything else cuts that wax to exactly match this picture. It may take an hour and a half to do it. You can leave it running all night and when you get to work the next morning, you've got a piece of wax with every bit of that little tiny detail all them little cross pieces is perfectly matched. Now how do they, they take the wax and then what? Then you they? take the wax and that's called lost wax casting. You take the wax and you put it in two blocks of what we call like cement, looks like a cement block, put it in there with a hole in it, opening in the top. Then you put that in a burnout oven and you put this, these two, this hard solution is poured into a mold to, to fill this, this is sitting down in there. You mix it up, looks like flour. Uh -huh. Mix it all up, pour it in the mold with a little top, a little hole in the top. You put this mold, once it hardens, as hard as a brick, you put it in an oven and it burns out. That's the burnout process. So all that wax that, the, that this machine carved melts inside and burns up and disintegrates and just you pour it out, it's gone. But now you have a piece of cement that in the cavity of that cement is the exact thing that that wax, where the wax was filling it up. Take the gold, put it in a, on a centrifuge and melt the gold into liquid form, flip a switch and it slings it around going into this big block of concrete, for lack of a better word, fills up the cavity inside that mold and when you knock it out, bust it all up, what you've That's got what is you got. that in gold. Of course, it's hot. It's it's been is that hot gold? Uh huh. It's been um, it's been completely burnt up, red hot, everything. So it's flat. It's burnt. It's black. Now you've got to take your little tools and you got to start buffing and polishing, and then you got to set the diamonds in it. So it's you know, but it it saved 80 hours of carving because the computer carved it. But it takes you about 40 hours to get that. Leave it um, overnight, whatever. Well, no, it might it might cut out in <coughs> it might cut out in two hours time overnight, and then just turn itself off in the morning. You've got the mold, 
but then you've got you know two or three other processes to go the the most expensive process on a piece like this now is not carving it but is setting the stones you know if you have a hundred stones in there it's nothing to have to pay a thousand fifteen hundred dollars for just stone setting you know just to have a jeweler sit there and put them in that's why you see so much uh, jewelry that's imported from uh, overseas they make twenty dollars a month they'll sit and, and set thousands of stones for 20 bucks. United States, a, a jeweler in the United States charges $15 to set one stone. Oh my goodness. So a lot so, of it's mass merchandised overseas. So have you ever made, custom made anything like that? Oh yeah. So yeah, you really. have a, I can't say the word. You have We've a, got a custom design artist that works there at the store. Uh, I can sketch anything. You can draw it. If you bring me a, the roughest, crudest little sketch of anything you can imagine i can take that and work it into the artwork into what you where you say that's what i want and then run it in the cad machine and show you a wax mold of it before we ever have to build it once you say the wax is right looks exactly like you want it then we duplicate the wax in white go yellow go whatever you want so anybody out there that's wanting to do something special for somebody for an anniversary, Christmas, or whatever, you can do that. Take it over there and Rick can create it for you. That'd be custom, that's called custom, custom made, design. Custom yeah, made, we've yeah. done, like I've told you, we done we made a 14 karat gold commode for a lady that's husband was in the <laughs> septic tank business, and that's what she wanted to give him for Christmas. You know, we've made some strange things. Uh, made a lady, uh, it's kind of customary for the, um, if you're playing tennis a lot of times, if you get mad, you lose the game, you'll break your tennis racket. Well, this lady broke so many tennis rackets um, playing with her best friend that for Christmas one year, her best friend had me order a tennis racket about the size of a half dollar uh -huh. and had the pretty gold wires in it and the nice handle and little little pendant. And when I got it in, she said, now, are you ready to go to work? And I thought, I don't understand. She didn't tell me this prior to. She broke the handle half in two. She took a ink pen and jammed it through the net on the tennis racket, the little gold wires. And then she wanted me to weld the broken handle back across the net and set one little diamond in it and put it back on that thing for a pendant. And she could bought a chain for it and gave it to her best friend for Christmas. How about that? But it was, it was, and it went around. I had other people come in and want the same thing after that from the same yeah. country club that they belong to. So, you know, it gets crazy what they build. Yeah, because uh, people have different, uh, it's different, they say different strokes for different folks, but people have different tastes. Well, I've they had some X rated little things wanted done, and, you know, just, it, it's amazing what people want sometimes. Golfers and, can want a whole in one. And they're, and they're, <laughs> they're, uh, and they're ready to pay for it. You know, it's, yeah. they just want something. I made a lot of gold uh, uh, little markers for the golf course, and yeah. I made gold tees, put your ball on. I made uh, gold toothpicks. I made toothpicks with a little diamond in the end of it. Yeah. Uh, got some nose rings, one stud ear rings, ear clips, uh, fingernails. You remember a few years back, the Finger gold fingernails yeah. was uh -huh. they just wore one little gold fingernail. Uh, or a diamond on their fingernails. They had a diamond. They'd have diamonds mounted in them or have them diamond cut. Uh -huh. uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's just amazing that anything you bring in, if you told me that you wanted a gold dime, you want that exact Roosevelt dime there, but you want it made in gold, uh -huh. we can take this dime and make a mold out of it and cast it. Now, somewhere on this dime, we've got to stamp copy because you cannot need cash in a flash you know where to go rick davis golden diamonds paying you the most for your gold silver diamonds and coins all day every day and if you're looking to buy that spectacular piece of jewelry nobody sells you more for less than rick davis golden diamonds time to upgrade your vehicle stop in rick davis supercars just outside the tunnels in east ridge and check out all of the amazing deals never has it been easier to get behind the wheel of a supercar or truck at a super deal rick davis golden diamonds and rick davis supercars let me bet your your staff over there he's got a lot of people God, our dedicated. staff is absolutely wonderful they really are the golden girls which is uh, kathy and deborah 
and uh, Norma. Norma's 85 years old, works six days a week. Absolutely amazes me. She never, I've never heard her complain in 11 years she's been with She's me. a beautiful person. Kathy, Deborah, same way. Kathy come three or four years ago as a part-time Christmas help for two weeks. And she told me the other day, I think she'd been there five and a half years. Deborah, the same thing. A year after Kathy comes, she's been there about four years. She's my right arm. She's just like Jason. She, she takes care of business. Yeah. Jason and I have been together five years now. This man is straight as an arrow. He does his job. He knows what to do. He knows how to do it. I've got a couple of part-time guys that's in there, and they're just, they're just champs. They're doing good right now. We've got the Chattanooga Police Department is there. Uh, every hour we're open, we've got two officers that work uh, uh, inside the store, outside in the parking lot, uh, uh, Tinsel Tillery and uh, Corey Stokes, uh, Corey Green Mile Stokes. Uh, wonderful officers. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm just very blessed with some wonderful people around me. Why does Rick Davis Golden Diamond serve so many customers each and every day? It's because they know that Rick treats them the best and pays them the most. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds is the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Golden Diamonds is waiting on their customers. Over a hundred each day. Don't sell for less than you deserve. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, paying you more all day, every day. I'd like to thank you for watching the show. Hope it's been informative. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some knowledge along the way. Hope a little bit of fun rubbed off on you. We try to do what we can do to help you. We'd like to thank you again for watching the show. Please stop by in the store and see us. Get to know us. We're your friend in the jewelry business. Thank you and God bless.